I had chicken. I had chicken. Do I have to still have? Chicken. <laughs> Okay, guys, just while everyone settles down, um, there's very few of our visitors here from Serbia or Belgrade at the moment. I think they're travelling later, their press conferences later. We do have uh, one of our visitors here, and we'll certainly call upon him for a question. It means that our translator, Zoran, is sat in the front row and will concurrently translate for our one guest. Therefore, there's no requirement for uh, translation on the top table, which is good. Uh, the player today is Trent Alexander-Arnold, and he'll be in presently is, uh, when the manager has finished and a reminder for those of you attending Melwood later, it's 5.30 start uh, for the media training. We'll allow access from 5.30 for you to, guys to uh, come in and set up. First 15 minutes, and then I believe uh, the Red Star press conference is here later on. Which I'm sure Jane will have given all the details on. So I think that takes us to uh, half past, which was me playing for time. So, Vinny, with the uh, absence of the need for translation, feel free to kick off with a couple. Maybe just to start with, um, Sadio Mane OK to play with his wrist? Strapped up, and when do you expect to have Navi and Jordan Henderson available? Um, Sadio looked good in training, to be honest. It last two days, uh, trained completely normal. So, if nothing happens, he should, he is in contention. <laughs> I learned that word a second ago, actually. Um, and yeah, that's that's good. We have to see. Um, Navi and yeah, Nabi will not be available in Hendo, not as well. So um, Nabi's in a good way already again. It's um, that he's outside running and all that stuff. So we have to see. We take it now day by day. Don't know. Don't want. Can, we cannot put any pressure in that. So we have to see when he when he's fully fit. Um, should not be that long long anymore. Hopefully. And um, yeah, Hendo got a a, a little hamstring. Uh, Injury in the in the game and um, um, so how, how I understood not too serious but serious enough that he's not available tomorrow and not at the weekend and then and then from that day on we will count the other days as well uh, hopefully Arsenal also um, he could be back but for the next two not available. You've taken 23 points as we know from nine Premier League games. You've taken three points from two Champions League games so far this season. Yeah. Still it makes it 26. Exactly. <laughs> we still hear the discussion that Liverpool haven't reached top four. Yeah. So, what more do you believe there is to come from your side? No, it's not that. I understand that 100%. Maybe it's because of one or, one or the other um, post match interview of my. So that, that I said things like that, but to be honest, the first job what we have to do is to win football games, and we played really good stuff so already this season. We all compare it always with the best games from the last year because you know, nobody uh, remembers that the average games. It's not that you compare a, a, a good game with an average game from last year and you say, oh, that was better. You, you you compare the very best game with the games now. For us, the most important thing is always to win football games, and um, all the games we won so far, we deserve to win. That's how it is, and um, in, the, in the two draws we had in the in the in the Premier League, we deserved the point. So, and the game we lost against Napoli, we deserved to lose. So that's how it is, and that's what we have to make sure for 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 the future as well, for the future tomorrow, and for all the others. We have to perform, and we have to fight, and we have to do the right things in the right moment. It's not about showing that we can do things similar than we did it in the last last year when you didn't know before the game that it will happen today like this it's about feeling right feeling confident it's about game development it's how a good start like you score early and then you can use some some different space stuff like that so far we had i think to fight in each game until the last minute right so that's not a, not, not a problem um so yes we can we can do um of course, how all teams in the Premier League probably can do a, a lot of things better than we did so far. But uh, I said a few times as well, the basis we we had we created is is a really good one, football-wise and point-wise. And now we have to build on that all the, every day, uh, week in, week out, and um, that's what we try. And um, we will try that tomorrow again. Okay, just going to pause one second, Vinny. Whoever's that light is, can we turn that off, please, if possible? The uh, flashing light is affecting the television pictures. Is there a photographers in the room? If not, can we turn it? Do you want to turn that off? It's not for. Ah. It's not ours. You got it? Throw it off. Yeah, yeah. thank you stone. very much. There we go. Sorry. And um, final question. <laughs> final question from uh, the. Yeah, how satisfying is it then that extra solidity that you have this season? And 
that reliance that you have, that I suppose the confidence that you have now on your side that it can go out and grind out a result when perhaps not hitting? No, that's good. That's the basis for all for all successful football teams. That's how it is. It should not be easy to to score against us. It was never. Even when we conceded more, we had, we had this discussion last year. It was there was only the percentage of shots on target and in target was was much more negative than it is now. We don't have we don't concede a lot of shots on target, um, and that's defending actually. And then if the ball goes through, you have a goalkeeper. Then but what helps, of course. And um, we had these situations as well where we needed Ali. Um, really, and uh, that's good. Um, but on the other side, it's never. It's, we, we always. It's like last year. We, I think we spoke a lot about free, fluent football and this. And I never had the feeling it's for granted. So it will happen next day again. So it's exactly the same with our defending, defending um, solidity that we don't think it's. Um, it will happen again. It's hard work. You have to. We have really to work for it. And what I liked was after the last game, I was not the only one who felt a bit. Kind of average. <laughs> well, we won the game. It's pretty strange. It was influenced in my in my case extremely by the the, the three big counter attacks we had, and we didn't finish off one. So we lost the ball in, in a moment. That's why the game was so hectic. If we finish it one of them, then it's done. But we didn't do. And that was. And then they had this half chance. That's why I felt not really good after the game. But for the boys as well, they want to do differently. They want to. To be more in charge in a game like this, that if, if it's difficult to play against a team like Huddersfield that well organized, and so that will be tomorrow difficult, really difficult. And there, it's another quality in Huddersfield. Belgrade is, is really is a, is a is the team of Serbia. So very experienced, good footballing, used to dominant football in, in Serbia, and, and made life really complicated for Naples and for PSG. Even if the, the result against PSG doesn't sound like that, so. And that's it. That you are really ready for this for these problems, and sort it. They have the ball, defend with whatever you have. We have the ball, attack with whatever we have, and protect for the moment when we lose the ball. So that's that's all. these are the if you want the three big jobs to do, and um, so far so good. Not more. But if it would be easy to get 23 points after nine match days, then a lot more teams are in the Premier League nearly. Five teams have a similar situation. Four, I think, um, where they they won game after game after game. So that shows the quality of these teams. But um, they all had to fight really hard. So of course, yesterday night uh, the game against Leicester, three-one. The last 20, 30 minutes, Arsenal was completely in charge of that game. But before that, it was an open game. So that's that's how it is. So for us, that means for us, make yourself ready for for all the challenges ahead. And um, yeah. Face them, sort them, and win the football games. Andy? So you've got a great defensive record in the Premier League, Jurgen, but you can see 13 in the last eight European games. Is that a concern for you? Really? So I didn't know, so it cannot be a concern. Um, obviously. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, so it was. We conceded a lot against United, uh, City, right. a lot against Rome. That's already pretty much, and then and then Naples won. That's it. Is Before that, that. Work as in this competition, as long as you go through, ah, and in the final we conceded as well goals. Ah, that's it. Um, yeah, as long as you go through, that's okay. But it's not about. It's not the, the difference is not in the. These games were really special. Eh? The Rome game was special. The, the Man City game was special, and we don't have to talk about the final. Um, if the if the opponents score goals like they did in the final with the bicycle kick and stuff like, then it's quite difficult. Um, but um, no, we can work on that. How we worked on all of that, but not especially for the for the Champions League for that competition. It's not about the competition. That was about the, the specific character of these games. And um, actually, apart from the goals in the final, I would not I want, don't want to miss one of these goals. We scored or conceded because it, 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 it made the, these these at least four games pretty pretty spectacular and um, yeah that's part of the game as well so um, that's all okay but of course we don't want to concede goals how you can imagine and uh, against being completely having or keeping a clean sheet against PSG would be uh, a proper challenge for all football teams in the world so um, I don't care about these two goals that's it no um, it's only a, it's a general thing not a Champions League thing one more Monday do you feel that you can go you clearly feel that you can go on to another 
another level and the fans really enjoyed seeing that free flowing football that we saw last season. Is it pleasing when you do feel you can go to another level and it's only October? First of all, we have to prove that. We know it, we feel it, probably everybody knows it, but then we have to show it that that's how it is. I cannot sit here and say like this and it will, it will um, click. So, um, yes, it's, no, it's not, I don't have the feeling of being pleased or whatever. It's, um, it's really that I think so far so good, nothing else. So imagine we had a normal start in the season with 18 points. Then you are already five behind, and it's still a good. It would be still a good start. But so you are now. You have now 23 points, and you're only two ahead and level with another team and stuff like that. So it's just difficult. So we don't have to look on the table. We don't have to look at anything. We have to look on the next opponent. And the next opponent in this case now is Belgrade. That's why we only actually should talk about them and not about the Premier League. And then after that we can talk about the Premier League again. But that's um, um, just the. Uh, yeah, it looks like it will be a very interesting season, and um, that's good news, I would say, for all the supporters. Um, and um, so, let's see, and uh, that we can um, stay in that race, and um, that would be really cool. And then we'll see what happens. Okay, I'm going to go around the room if you want to catch my eye. If you've got a question to ask, I will go to Phil. I will come to you, sir, before we finish. If you've got something, Phil from the Press Association, do you have anything now? No? David, anything from you? I'll tell you what, we'll go to uh, Albers to, if you've got a question for Jürgen or a couple of you. Sorry. You said that the Western economy is like, for example, in Fiji, how Fiji they take six goals. What is the way that the Western economy is the life of the life of the Oh. Ah, it's not too difficult. It's in football possible. Everybody knows it, that it's um, easy to, to, to defend compact. Helps a lot. As for, for Belgrade, for sure, the, the challenge is a little bit that they are that dominating side in Serbia. So um, winning 80-90% nine, of their games, pretty much. Um, and Champions League is then different, because they play against other top teams in Europe, and that makes, uh, makes it different. But they, I really think they did well. They did well against Napoli. They had to defend, yes. Napoli had more, more shots on target, everything more, but um, they did well. And... Um, against Paris, if they open the box of Pandora, then it's open. So then it's if, if Neymar starts scoring from, I don't know, 35 yards, free kicks and stuff like that, then it's then it's then nobody can defend that. So it's um, all about, I know that they are able to, to defend and that they are able to, to create um, as well. Um, the strengths have different possibilities to line up, different strikers to line up, tall, quick, good footballers, good headers, fullbacks are um, really laggy, they're really on their bikes, um, quick, very offensive orientated, so clear structure and all that stuff, so that's what they can do offensively and defensively. Um, Serbian teams are always good organised. So it's always like this. They are no to defend. They, they are not bothered to, to 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 be a bit more aggressive and stuff like that. That's that's how it is. And um, so we need to be ready for a really hard fight. We need to fight for each little square meter of space or whatever uh, with all we have. And for that we need our crowd. So that need, that's very very important. We we learned last year not only but we learned last year especially that um, atmosphere can make the difference. And that's what we have to make sure again. And um, so, it's a hard group, really hard group for all for all teams, and um, we have to make sure that we make the next step against really a good side, a really good side. And I saw the game against Salzburg when they qualified, and I saw how they celebrated that. Yes, it was maybe after the, the score line of two 0 it was a bit of a surprise, but um, it looked like Salzburg were through, and then they fought back and they used their chances immediately at five, ten um, fantastic minutes and changed the whole game. And when you saw them celebrating, then you know they will fight with all they have for um, getting points or winning, even winning at Anfield. Yeah, that's it. Okay. One more, one more. No. Do you remember the last generation of Bressar players in the Champions Cup? It was against Bayern 91. Pan de, oh, I know a few. Um, Prozinecki? Prozinecki was in that team. When was it? 90? 
So I was then 23 and it probably obviously something better to do than watching a Champions League. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I saw it one percent, but I saw it since then a few games. But it was a it was an outstanding team, yeah, and uh, yeah, it was a good team. Okay. Last two questions, uh, David. I'll come to you last, gentleman there in the uh, great job. That Marco is not involved. I know Marco. I, Mark, I know. I know. I know. I heard about it. I, but I know him since he was at Frankfurt. I, I lived in Frankfurt when Marco came through the academy of Eintracht Frankfurt. So he was an outstanding player. So I follow his career since then. Um, yes. Is he injured or why is he not on the plane? That's a tactic. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving Marco Marino, that's an interesting tactic. Um, so what do I know? So it's like um, we saw three games. We had the uh, focus was mainly on the on the two Champions League games because um, that's and the Partizan game, to be honest, again in 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 Belgrade. So. And I know that I have no clue which lineup they will choose because I have the opportunity to change the, 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 the last four as often as possible, stay the same. I would say goalie, three midfield, and then up front, they have opportunities, obviously, and, and, and use them. So, whatever they want to do, um, I don't know in the moment. How could I know? So, um, and that uh, makes it always interesting, of course. But for my, whatever they, whoever they line up, they are a top team in Serbia, and that makes that always. That brings them in with confidence. So that's how it is. They are used to to win football games. That's how it is. And we have to make sure that they cannot come in that mood. So that's it. And but on the other hand side, and that's why I say it was quite impressive against um, Paris and and, and Napoli, um, how they defended them because that's pretty rare for a for a um, usually very dominating team that you can then switch like this and, and defend like that. And they did it. They did it. And then it's a bit more about counter-attacks and stuff like that. But they were ready for that. You can see that they lived their their big dream, that they really wanted to do. I don't know when was it last time that, that, that Belgrade was in the Champions League. It's a I think the last one was in 91st. Really? So that's long. Yeah, that's long. So and then now, now this generation came through and um, in, a, in a very exciting game from actually a situation 2-0 down at Salzburg. They, they played really well that day, Salzburg. Eh? So it was, um, and then they, they came through, and that's this kind of miracle. And now they want to extend it. That's how I would um, <laughs> try to motivate my boys if it's about that. So, and I'm pretty sure um, they will do it the same way. And that's um, that makes it dangerous. But on the other hand, side, whoever would come tomorrow night, it's it's a home game at Anfield and we want to win it. We, we are not sure if we can, but we will try everything what we're doing. It's not the nicest thing to do to play against us, to be honest. It's not that you, it's, it feels like holiday. It's exactly what we have to make sure again and uh, make a proper fight of it because Belgrade will fight 100%. And um, yeah, we have around about 30 hours time um, to prepare that and that's what we will do. Final question, David. No, when I was a player, I played in empty stadiums, and there were no, they were not banned. They only were not interested in the football we played. <laughs> yeah, so no a stadium full of um, only one crowd. I never, I never experienced. But I, I, I would, I would say because our, the support here is, is in, in England is different, especially in Anfield is different. We don't, we don't sing against another crowd it's not they say that and we say that it's a little bit like that but it's more you follow the game and you support your team and if you have a bigger number and cool and um, that's uh, I, I, that's of course not nice for the for the people from Belgrade but um, we have no influence on that so we, have, we would have had no problem if Belgrade fans would have been here we still can have would have had a fantastic atmosphere but that's all about that we are really tomorrow, really together. It will be because we have the same. It's not that we are now the most experienced team in Champions League only because we came last year to the final. 
we are still <coughs> pretty fresh in comparison to a lot of other other teams in in that competition and we have to make sure that this one advantage what we can have in our home games our crowd is there 100 percent that's it and that's what we should make sure um, i'm pretty sure we are ready but i only only a little reminder for all of you uh, on your toes um, and then um, it will be difficult for 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 belgrade and um, that's the first job to do to make it difficult and uncomfortable for the opponent Okay, guys, Trent will be in very shortly. If you could remain here for the other guys, we'll uh, stay outside, okay? Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you.